In this problem, we are given an array A of n positive integers. In one operation, we can choose three distinct integers i, j, and k and replace a of i, a of j, and a of k with the xor of a of i, a of j, and a of k. We are meant to make all elements of the array equal in at most n operations or determine that it's impossible. Let's separate this out into two cases when n is odd and n is even. When n is odd, we can come up with the strategy to make all of elements of the array equal to the xor of all elements of the initial array in n minus 2 operations. For convenience, let p of i denote the xor of all values in the array from the first to the ith value. Let's try and make the nth element equal to p of n first. We can do this by first performing the operation on 1, 2, 3. Following this, we can take the next two elements which haven't been XORed yet and XOR with it with one of the elements which store the results of the most recent XOR operation. This will end up looking something like 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, all the way up until n minus 2, n minus 1, n. More generally, after the ith operation, the 2 times i plus first index stores p of 2 times i plus 1. Once we're done with this set of operations, p of n is stored in the nth position. We can see that the positions 2 times i plus 1 and 2 times i plus 2 have equal values as the last operation to be performed on these pairs were during the same operation. Hence their values haven't changed afterwards. As we know that x x or x is equal to 0 and 0 x or y is equal to y, we know that p of i x or p of i x or p of n equals 0 x or p of n which equals to p of n. Therefore if we perform the operations on 2 times i plus 1 and 2 times i plus 2 and n, the x or value will be equal to a of n which is equal to p of n. Hence after performing these operations for all pairs, all elements in the array will equal to p of n. Note that we don't have to perform the operation on the pair n-2 and n-1 as they are already equal to p of n. The number of operations needed in the first part is n-3 by 2 plus 1. The 1 is from the 1, 2, 3 operation at the start. The number of operations needed in the second part is n-3 by 2. Therefore n-3 by 2 plus 1 plus n-3 by 2 is equal to n-2. Now let's look at what happens when n is even. Since all elements at the end need to be equal to each other, the xor of all elements at the end is equal to 0, as the xor of an even number of elements is equal to 0. Now let's show that performing the operation given in the problem doesn't actually change the total xor of all elements in the problem. Let i, j and k denote the positions we perform the operation on. Let x be the xor of all the other elements. Before the operation, the xor of all elements was a of i xor a of j xor a of k xor x. But after the operation, the xor of all elements is equal to a of i xor a of j xor a of k xor a of i xor a of j xor a of k xor a of i xor a of j xor a of k xor x which is equal to 0 x or a of i x or a of j x or a of k x or x, which is just equal to a of i x or a of j x or a of k x or x. Hence, we arrive back at the same thing. So if the x or of all elements in the array isn't equal to 0, there's no possible answer. Otherwise, note that the x or of the array is essentially the x or of a single element in the array x or the rest of the array. For the x or to be 0, that single element in the array needs to be equal to the xor of the rest of the array. For simplicity, let that single element be the last element in the array. Then all we need to do is convert the first n-1 elements to the xor of the first n-1 elements, which is also equal to the last element in the array. Note that n-1 is an odd number, and we know how to convert an odd number of elements to the xor of all n-1 elements in n-3 operations. Hence, we can just do what we did for the odd case for the first n-1 elements to make all elements of the array equal to a of n. That's how you solve problem D. 
I have video editorials for A, B, C, E and F too, so check them out if you're interested. I'll also be posting more videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.